In this video, I'm going to give you a speed run of capturing metrics in your Node.js application with Prometheus and then visualizing those metrics with Grafana. So in this application, I have a few histograms and counters set up. One is going to measure the HTTP response time. I'm also going to measure the success rate as well, and I'm going to provide the status code. I have a counter for HTTP requests with the same labels as I used before. And then I also have a database query time histogram. And then in here, I'm going to have the operation and I'm going to have whether this was a successful operation or not. In all of these metrics, success is going to be a string, whether it's true or false. And then we're going to be able to filter our visualizations based on that string. Another thing to note about labels is that we use snake case. This is just a convention in Prometheus. Okay, so to measure the HTTP response time, I'm going to use some middleware so I don't have to set this up on every single route. I'm gonna add the time, and this is the time elapsed from when the request started to when it's going to reply. Success is just going to be true if the status code is less than 400, otherwise it's going to be false. And my route is the URL. So another thing to note about metrics is that they need to have a low cardinality. So your route should not include parameters that are dynamic. For example, you would not include a job ID, you would just include the string job ID. So for my database response time, I'm going to get my database response time histogram and I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to do my query and then I'm going to end the timer with a success of true if the query is successful and a success of false if I catch an error. Another thing to note is that these operations here should all have a low cardinality. So do not include dynamic parameters in here. In my server, I have an on response hook, and in here, I'm going to record my reply time, and that is my HTTP response histogram. And then I have this endpoint here for slash metrics. I'm going to get the header from my prom client, and then I'm going to serve out the metrics. So the last thing to show is in our server, we can collect some default metrics, and this is going to collect things like our event loop lag, our memory usage, and our CPU usage. If we head over to the browser, we can see on our slash metrics endpoint here, if we hit this endpoint, we're going to get some metrics for Prometheus to scrape. Once Prometheus has scraped those metrics, we can visualize those in Grafana. So you can see here, I have a dashboard set up and I have a few panels on that dashboard, one for our database query response time. And you can see in here, all of our operations. So you can see here that creating a user is quite a slow operation. We have another panel to visualize our database query success and error rate. So you can see here, we have a lot of successes and not very many errors. We also have another panel to visualize the HTTP request response time, and then another one for the error and success rate for HTTP request response time. We also have this other dashboard to visualize our default metrics. So you can see that we have our CPU usage. We also have our memory usage, which looks nice and healthy. It grows and then it drops off again. We also have our event loop lag. Again, it looks quite healthy. And we have our Node.js active handlers. 